Well, we have all seen the shattered glass, the angry victims, and our local police trying to get a handle on the area's rampant car break-ins and auto thefts. But well, there's another criminal racket targeting certain types of vehicles throughout our metro area. It's widespread, operates mostly in the shadows, and appears to be more sophisticated than the typical smash-and-grab burglars or joyriding thieves. All right, and an all-new exclusive story, a witness investigator Mike Perlstein reveals a crime epidemic in which the thieves are targeting a really small but very valuable stash of precious metals that's hidden underneath your car. Just before Christmas last year, Rachel St. Romain jumped in her car to go to work. Got in my car, started my car, and it was extremely loud. She said the crime happened right here, in front of her apartment on a busy thoroughfare in Metairie, while she was asleep. I couldn't really accelerate that much. She drove as far as she could before puttering into a repair shop. And then the mechanic called me and said, somebody stole your catalytic converter. St. Romain had become yet another victim to thieves who have been operating throughout the metro area for several years, climbing under trucks, SUVs, and other vehicles with wide clearance, taking this small but valuable piece of your exhaust system. It was quite expensive, $1,400. It was definitely a big hit for Christmas time. <laughs> it's part of every car's exhaust chain the anti-pollution device known as a catalytic converter. It sits between the engine and your muffler. And while most people don't think twice about this metal encased filter, it contains several types of precious metals that thieves can flip to black market dealers for more than $100 a pop. What is it that is valuable? How does the racket work? There's three precious metals in them that are really sought out, that are palladium, platinum, and rhodium. While the device may go for $100 or more on the underground market, getting a replacement can cost more than 10 times that amount. To replace it, you're looking at the average on U.S. is $1,000 to $1,400. James Ruth should know. As the owner of Custom Muffler in Kenner, his business has shifted dramatically over the past few years as catalytic converter thefts locally have exploded. The past two years, like I said, this is, it's been incredible. With the, uh, and 95% of our business is replacing catalytic converters now that, are, that have been stolen. Four or five years ago, it probably was about 10% of our business. In New Orleans alone, the number of reported converter thefts went from 249 in 2021 to 331 last year, a 33% increase. But based on the volume of repair requests, the number of unreported thefts is believed to be much, much higher. It's probably people doing at least 100 of them at a time. The racket is part of a national trend. Just recently, the iconic Oscar Mayer Wienermobile was hit in Las Vegas. And in a tragic story out of Southern California, a would-be cat thief was killed underneath an SUV when the sleeping driver woke up and started to pull off. <laughs> Unlike the impulsive car burglaries dominated by juveniles, these thieves seem to operate on a more sophisticated level, using a portable metal saw to get in and out from under a car in less than a minute. Clean cut very quick, but it's very noisy. It makes a lot of noise. That's why the thieves try to hit vehicles in the dead of night to catch owners while they're asleep and unable to react quickly or in remote locations to avoid detection altogether. Unlike with a smashed in car window, a person will not know they've been victimized until they crank the engine. It feels like you're very much violated. Rob Morrow got hit earlier this year when he was at a New Orleans Pelicans game. His Honda CRV parked in this remote lot. I went into the game, it was a good game, we won, came out happy, turned my car on, and it sounded like 10 lawnmowers running underneath the car. For Morrow, it wasn't the first time. The previous heist was in front of his house uptown. Having had it happen eight months prior, I knew exactly what had happened, and I was just sort of dumbfounded. Next morning we get up to go have breakfast, turn on the car, and it sounds like a NASCAR race car. There's really loud. That was the first time Steve Denise was victimized while on vacation last year in Houston. The second time, right here in the Marigny. And then not long after that, in April of last year, my other work Honda Element got hit right here on the corner of Pogger and Burgundy. The replacement part was not cheap. Neither was the preventative measure that Denise installed a reinforced metal cage to prevent such quick and easy access to the thieves. It was about 1500 bucks. 
plus, mm -hmm. plus the cage, so another 300 to protect the red element as well. St. Romain's prevention device came courtesy of her parents. But luckily my parents bought me an early Christmas present and put a cage on it. Moreau is also considering installing a theft device, but for now... I guess maybe next time I should probably uh, park in that water right there. Mike Pearlstein, Eyewitness News. We reached out to local law enforcement to comment on any efforts to crack down on this crime, but they didn't get back to us. However, court records are revealing and showing almost no arrests in any types of these any types of cases like this. Uh, nationally, the FBI recently announced arrests in an investigation that spans the country, accusing an organized syndicate of trafficking and more than $500 million worth of catalytic converters.